to see if the wind will hold off for a little bit. I've been bad and I broke down and I bought things. The first thing that I'm going to show you has been on my list for a long time. Finally, a subscriber said, you really should be wearing NARS autumn leaves. And so I, <laughs> I couldn't stay. I didn't have any color like it. So I bought it and I have it on right now. It is a beautiful, it's a, uh, orangey brown kind of color. It's perfect for fall. It's perfect if you like warm oranges. I used <laughs> Tammy's, it's actually Max, Chicory pencil. Let's go ahead and do some swatching here. So there's it, kind of a brownie orange. And here is the, you know, in case your lips aren't. And then here's the NARS. It's under the sheer lipsticks. I didn't realize that. It feels just like my Niagara, which is um, not the sheer. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's been fun for right now. I gotta get used to a little bit of the color because I'm not, you know, I don't normally wear oranges. I was also bad and I bought, because you know, this perfume journey, I'm gonna talk about it in another video. I bought the Brie Court, and this was Harem, but now they've changed the name to Farrah. It, and I also changed the price. It went from $60, which I was like, yay, I can afford that, to $85. But I waited so long for them to get a hold of it. Got it anyway. Uh, you can't tell how much is in there because it's a black bottle, but it looks really pretty on your counter. It's very modern. And this is like ribbon. It's a like a satin ribbon with their name on it that they glued to the front. It is supposed to be really close to Hermes um, Amber Nargile, which I would love to have. It's a beautiful bottle. It's tall, it's thin and stuff, but it costs a fortune and I can't do that. But... And then in all my studies, Guerlain, Guerlain, <laughs> kept coming up, coming up, coming up. And I've smelled a Shalimar for a very, very long time. Hated it. I mean, it was just too old and too heavy and powdery and men. Every time I'd ask my aunt that would go over to France, what's everybody wearing? She would either say Lair de Tom or Shalimar. Well, I finally broke down. I went into Sephora. I sprayed myself with uh, Chanel number no. five, which has never smelled good on me, and Shalimar. I guess I'm finally an old lady. It smelled really good on me. Oh my lord. It is so exotic oriental. And look at this beautiful bottle. Of course, it's clean right now. There's no dust on it. Parfum, I think. Um, it wasn't the, you know, the most expensive one. But one spritz, one, lasted from early evening to, you know, I went to bed just smelling it. I, I like that about a perfume. Um, this Brie Court, this uh, Farrah, will last the same. There's a lot of cement trucks going back like This Farrah lasts a long time too. I am tired of buying perfumes. very short-lived and that's so frustrating they're my favorite um, I today have on that lasts forever in fact I put it on after my shower last night watched TV went to bed smelled it when I went to bed I even smelled it this morning so I use uh, Pixel Foxy's uh, Bootsy oil it comes with a roller ball and I don't know what kind of base it is because I'm learning about perfumes but I know it's an oil base and it stays on forever it's very vanilla -y. I thought it smelled like cotton candy when I first uh, started snoofing it and then sniffing something else, you know, just to see what the differences are. But it's it's a kind of a pink sugar, but very, very sweet um, and, and powdery and um, gourmand, I guess you would say. Uh, then I don't need them. I don't need them. I wanted it. I saw it. Then all of a sudden, Sephora had a gift package with this in it and some other things. So I bought it. The Lorragon Scent Palette. I tell you, I love it. Yes, it's all more neutrals. You've seen it before. All these neutrals. But they're not <laughs> All right. There's Shimmer. There's, all, there, there's these four matte. Yeah, those four are matte. These are all Shimmer. These six are Shimmer. Six. 
anyway, uh, it was $48 and it came with a tantal tantalizer, a lip gloss, and something else. And so I put those away. Sorry, I can't show you. Um, go to Sephora.com and maybe they still I'm gonna give it away as stocking stuffers and that kind of thing. So um, I justified that I could have it because it was a deal. My favorite so far seems to be the Unreal and the Uncensored on my lids. They have a little bit of pink to them with the um, shimmer and it's not too much. Uh, here, let's, uh, oh, they're, they're creamy. They feel so good. And then I'll use, you know, a darker color for the crease and outer corner. And let's, look, one swipe. And I'm going slower to show you. Anyway, I've been really happy with my splurge. I kind of satisfied my, I better stop spending. And I'm going to talk about that too in a future video about how to save money and not spend and make yourself happy not spending. Anyway, I've been really happy with my splurge. I did watch, you know, the budget and, you know, you got to watch all your bills. Don't spend if you shouldn't. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.